It's going to be, it won't be long uh, before they'll be coming. They're going to be having recliners in your sports stadiums. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Recliners will be in your sports stadiums. And you got your built-in beer holder, you know, there. And then you have, and then they'll be heated. Um, if you want, you know, at football season, of course, they'll be heated of uh, outdoor stadiums, but not so much a U.S. Bank stadium because that, that thing is indoor. And they just keep it at 65, whatever, all year round. But anyway, um, any outdoor theater, um, outdoor uh, professional um, football stadiums, and there's a lot of them yet, they will have heated seats probably, and they will recline. And some depends on the owners. If they want to spend the extra couple, you know, $30 million, whatever, uh, they'll throw in vibrating ones too. They'll be heated and vibrated, uh, yeah. And they might even have headphones. Yeah, little plug-in things where you can actually hear every word that's that's spoken out there on the field. And, oh, it'll be great. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, that's where the hell we're heading, I think. And that, and that gets filed right under cuckoo time. Contrary to popular, popular belief, uh, guys, uh, Alice Cramden. Alice Cramden of, uh, you know, of the Honeymooners uh, fame. Alice Cramden was the only person to ever go to the moon... Yes, without any kind of vehicle. Yes. One of these days, Alice. Pow. Zoom right to the moon. True damn right, damn you. All right, we got that. We got Ben Gay out of the way. That was good. Yeah, it's good to get Ben Gay out of the way. VA is going to be introducing, and I was just out there the other day. Not the VA, but at, out, out by the airport when I have to drop off my... Uh, my my son Jacob, because he flew down to Texas, and um, he's due back tonight. Uh, yeah, if he doesn't get, if he doesn't get, uh, I don't know. Yeah, he'll, you know, he'll probably have to spend the night sleeping in some airport. But with this weather coming, anyway, the VA introduces a real placebo. That's coming. That's coming pretty soon, guys. A real placebo. Yes. And one of these days coming up, we are going to feature, it's going to be Fun With Polka Music Day. Yeah, I love polka music. you got to love polka music. You can get up and you dance around, and you know what I'm saying? you got to love polka. And anyways, yes, what's this, oh, what's this one? Yeah, guys, you ever get the feeling that at our age now, that life, it is, our life right now is kind of like a supermarket. If you look at our life like a supermarket, you know what? We're standing in the checkout lane. Yeah. We're stand yes, we are. We're standing in the old checkout lane. Yep. Yeah. Have you guys uh, have you guys got your weighted blankets yet? Oh man, aren't they wonderful? Oh yeah, a lot of lawsuits gonna be there. Whatever, and pick well, you know. Well, I don't know. I, I'm okay. I try to keep make light of things, but still, I wouldn't doubt if you hear in the news one day, oh, a couple they couldn't get out of bed. They were in their nineties in their house. They died. Uh, they could have got out if there wasn't the weighted blankets on them, the thirty, forty pounds. I mean, what are these people thinking? I mean, I don't get it. I, wow. Save a lot of money if you got an extra anchor. Wanna just just put an anchor on your chest while you're sleeping. Same deal. Nah. Nuts. We file that under cuckoo time. I, I look at it this way, gang. You shouldn't throw your shoulder out or or your back making a bed. Right? No way. You shouldn't have to. Yeah, I know. I know. Then it threw my back out the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Towser and Tallulah. Yeah, Towser and Tallulah are back now with Axel up in the treehouse. Thank God. And I'm telling you what, uh, we had a lot pouring of love and affection and, and uh, you know, people just really, the, phone, the phones were lighting up down here. Weren't they, gang? Yeah, they were lighting up. And uh, because there's a lot of people with concern, you know, you got all these. My granddaughter, God bless her, her name is Grace, and she uh, 
she is big time caring about animals that are lost and misting and hurt and mis and abused and every day she's out there putting stuff out there. God bless her. God bless her. Um, I don't I don't know who's I don't know is anybody keeping tabs? Who's missing more, the pets or people? I, I you know I, I you can't keep up with it. Uh, I just oh God, let's go there. More cuckoo time there, that's for sure. Anyways, Susie Q, my cousin from the Stillwater area, God bless you, hope you're feeling better. I know you're probably going through kind of a tough time right now, and I hope things get better for you, and I hope you feel better. Because uh, we love you, Sue, and you know what? You get yourself a wolf whistle and a big old sloppy kiss. What do you think about that, gal? Here it comes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. Well, what the hell was that? Oh, that's a... I got a, I got a cat that's supposed to sound like a cat. It don't sound like a cat. You guys think this sounds like a cat? Wow. I don't know. It sounds like somebody popped the top of a fizzy pop or something. Anyway, but I know you guys know what this means. Hey, Paul, those guys are back in our field again. Let's go get them. Well, son, let's have some fun. Go grab the guns. <laughs> I love that. I love that. There you go. Okay, so my timing stinks. So what? I'm old. And like I told you, I'm on the med alert. There is a med alert out there. The old captain needs his meds pretty soon. I'm hoping they're going to be in the mail today. Yes, indeed. Well, I already did that one. Okay. Yes, the government does want all old people uh, dead or out of the country or whatever. Because we are too much of a burden on uh, on um, a lot of the, uh, the programs. Uh, and in particular, they are uh, speaking about the Social Security, of which Social Security does not have anything to do, at least I was told, that's the way I understand it, has nothing to do uh, with the budget or with, uh, you know, uh, our, our expenditures, because we all paid into them over the years. That is our money we put in. Thank you. Thank you very much. And as soon as these politicians... Uh, get that squared away the better. Well, there's so much shit, these politicians. You know, they shouldn't even be politicians. Shouldn't be politics. It's just, oh, uh, I don't know. All they do is fight and argue about what? Over They fight about each other. They fight over who's going to get the last say, who's going to get the nod, who's going to get the money, who's going to get the program pushed through, who's going to get that, this, that, and other things. And all it is is about them because they get free rides for the next 50 years. Now, if somebody gave me a free ride for, for 40, 50 years, you don't think that I would do everything in my power to try to stay in there and try to, number one, get in there to begin with? Well, sure. Get rid of the freebies and all the programs and the guaranteed job for 40, 50 years, and you see how many of those sons of bitches are around. They're gone, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her. Anyways, okay, we got to do another commercial here. A little bit. Villages of Viagra, guys. You've heard about it. I've been talking about it for the last two and a half years now. Get up to the Frostbite Falls, Minnesota. If you need a map, whatever, GPS it. Just type in Frostbite Falls, Minnesota. I think it's off of 10, up north somewhere. And you'll once you find it, you'll see all sorts of signs that says, you are now entering the villages of Viagra. Okay? Just check it out. And uh, as I've been telling you for those two and a half years, that's the only place where their motto is, the villages of Viagra were even a hard day is a good day. Thank you. <laughs> you betcha. 
we gotta go to our other our other board here. We got something here to uh, share with you. I try not to have the long ones on because they're just some of them are just really ridiculously long. What is this? Man really letting no one have it during exit interview. I I, I really don't. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> Grandmother down to ten step radius around recliner. Okay, that's this one is this this one I really like. This is a good one. Astronomers discover previously unknown cluster of nothingness in deep space. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? Take my wife, please. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm telling you. What's this? NCAA investigating God for giving gifts to athletes. Athletes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so Switzerland passes UN inspection after erecting fire escape on a mountain. Okay. We still to this day cannot figure how to get people out of from tall buildings out of them quickly. Um, I don't know. I, I just I don't know. I think there's an easier way. Anyway, put them put big side slides on all four sides of the building. It'd be one hell of a rush, wouldn't it? Dropping 500 feet. Just, oh, that'd be fun though. It'd be, it'd be just like a ride, except you're saving your life. That's right. And this came across my uh, desk just a little while ago and think about this for a minute guys it is true it is true without a doubt there is no money there's no money in helping the kids helping the elderly helping the veterans and the handicapped now having said that uh, uh, there's a lot of truth in that because there isn't there really isn't and it's the same thing when you're in the military guys okay this is the reality of the military the minute you put that uniform on and you raise your hand, you take your oath. The minute that you put that uniform on, take that oath, you are an asset to the U.S. government. And the U.S. government also has your ass. And uh, without a doubt, um, they're going to put you where they want. They're going to give you an MOS. You're going to have an MOS. You're going to do pretty much what they say. and uh, You get some schooling thrown in there and you might uh, get a nice, easy, cush job. Or but uh, whatever. The case may be a, a year in the military. But ha, uh, that, um, and you are a huge asset for whatever it is, three to four years, six years, whatever you, you're going to do. Um, and, and then sometimes you got lifers that, you know, that, yeah, sign me up. Well, here we are, sign up for another four years. You damn right, the best child I ever had. <laughs> you bet you damn right. I love that food they got here, man. It's great. There you go. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so the, <laughs> but you are, you're an asset. But here's the deal. On the flip side is as soon as you, as soon as you leave the military, you get out of the service, whatever the case may be, um, then you become a liability. Then the U.S. government does, uh, they put you, check you off on the list over here, the next column that says, no, we don't we can't help, this guy doesn't matter. No, we'll give him a little bit of VA here and there once in a while. But, I mean, no, he, because he is a liability. He's going to end up wanting to cost us money. We used him for four years to protect our assets and to protect our liabilities and to take care of our corporate interests, you know, but come time when that guy needs some personal help because of doing what he did for this country? Oh, no, 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 no. We can't have that. We can't have that because you are a liability. And the same holds true and the same, and the same goes for the handicap. Uh, we'll figure out what can a, God bless him, but what can a handicap do? Handicap guy isn't going to go out there and build roads. He's not going to, he's not going to do anything really constructive, is he? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, in a certain, don't get me wrong, they still are, you know, uh, can do some good for society. Don't get me wrong. I didn't mean it like that. But, I mean, as far as the big money being made for a corporation or company, they just, they're, again, they're, they are 